In today's video, I'm going to give you a full beginner's guide to the best currency converter Shopify app. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is go to the link in the description, click on that and it should take you to this page here. And from there you can go ahead and click install. And that should bring you up with your Shopify site and should get you to install it here. So click on the install button and it should take a few seconds. And then it's gonna go ahead and open up here. It's gonna ask you to select your plan. Now you've got the free plan or you've got the elite plan. In my opinion, the elite plan is way better. Um, it has a 30 day free trial. So I'd recommend going for the elite plan and then seeing if you like it. And if not, you can uninstall it. So click this button here that you've read the terms and conditions and then just go ahead and choose the plan there. It's gonna get you to go ahead and approve it. Just do that and it will tell you when the money is due. Okay, so the first thing you need to go ahead and do is edit your money formats. So we can click on this button here and it's going to open up an FAQ page and it's going to show you how to do it. So it's quite easy to do. We need to go ahead and open our um, currency or our store settings page in settings. So we want to go down to the bottom left, go to settings. Then we want to, I believe, go to store currency and change currency formatting and they should pop up here. So now we'll go back to this FAQ page and we need to go ahead and change it so that they are formatted like this. So we need to copy this bit here, which is span class equals money. And we need to put that in front of the um, currency in the HTML ones. So these top two, not the email ones. So you want to add that there and then add it here. So it's in front of those ones. And you want to grab this bit here and you want to go ahead and paste that after those ones just like that. Now we can go ahead and click save and that should be ready to go. Now the next step is you need to go ahead and grab this text here and you need to put this in your privacy policy for it to be GDPR compliant. So this section here, you need to copy that. You need to go ahead and paste it inside your privacy policy. Now once we've gone ahead and done that, we can go ahead and click save up here and we should be ready to actually start using the app you can see now it's crossed that off because it knows we've done that so now we have to go ahead and click here which is enable app we have to click customize theme it's going to go ahead and open up our theme and get us to install it there so on the left hand side on app embeds it will get us to turn it on here just like that we can go ahead and click save and then we can go back here press save again and it should install the app onto your theme and there we go you can see app is enabled so the first thing we've got here is the auto switch now auto switch basically means it's going to automatically change the currency based upon the location and i would recommend having that on and then up here we can go ahead and either add the currencies we want manually or we can add all currencies into here and that should add all of the different currencies they have to offer inside of there Next up, we have our design settings. So we can change the currency switcher theme. We can either have a flag, a layer theme, or no theme. And this basically means on our store, there's going to be this pop up here. You can see that. You can either change it so there's nothing there, or you can have it so there's a flag there. You can also change the background color and the text color and the hover background color. Next up, we have the price configuration. So do you want to display the currency code, which means do you want it to say GBP or USD or whatever next to the currency? Uh, I'd recommend putting yes on that. You, I'd put remove decimals on no, and then round decimals, you can either have that on no or yes. Round decimals basically means it will put it at 99 um, instead of 00. zero. So if your price is like 20 pound, it'll make it at 20 pound 99. Next up, we have our extra features. So check out currency notification. This basically means that on the cart page, it will notify people that their order is being placed in a different currency. Um, it's just a good thing to do that in case there's a slight discrepancy in the price, um, just so they know why that is. You've also got message color, background color, um, show original price on hover. And then you can also hide the currency converter if you want, which means that it's not gonna pop up here. It's gonna be off. I like to do that, but it's up to you if you do that or not. Once you've done with those settings, you can click save. And once it's saved, you can go ahead onto your website and just view it to make sure it works. And we can see here that I'm on the website. 
we've got this product here which is 1996 and we can change it to dollars and you can see let's change it to 24.99 if we change it to Canadian dollars it ends in 99 each time so it works and when you hover over it tells you the original price and that's basically how you go about using the app if you go to the more section here there are a couple other bits you can change so you can change what currency you want for each country um, yeah, it's pretty simple there's also an FAQ here so if you've got any questions like how to move it that kind of stuff you can move that and they've also got the membership plan option here which we looked at earlier so you can select your membership but that's basically how you use the app if you enjoyed the video and found it useful be sure to like subscribe and comment down below that it helped thank you for watching